Right, I'm going to hold this on the letter so you can see the letter. So you can zoom in and read the letter and you can, you know, read from it and see what you think. So this is a letter from the school, which I've uh, commented on on a previous video. This is the undated letter from Leamington Primary Academy, unsigned letter from them. Now, a few things I want to cover on this one is, I've actually now taken legal advice. We now believe we have a case um, with regards to the issues that's arose over the last few weeks, what we've been looking into. They, on this letter, have said that they got in touch with the person who they believe had parental responsibility. Well, I'm sorry that including my solicitor said the same thing today. Pardon me. If uh, a child is in that school, they have two parents. All children have two parents. Everybody has two parents. They should have been in touch with me. Now, they knew I had parental responsibility. They've admitted that by sending me that letter, um, stating that they wouldn't put the images on. They then sent her a form. Where was my form? They neglected to send me a form. Now, when they received that form, then they should have then got in touch with me, sent me a form. They didn't do that. They should have asked her if I'd got parental responsibility, parental responsibility lawfully. They would have known that. I'm the father. They could have looked at the birth certificates. They knew I was married. The children were born in wedlock. We all know the rules. We all know the law. We all know how this works. My children are not allowed on any <coughs> social media platforms that's underage. Facebook, etc. We have images. We've downloaded images, French screenshots of these that's acting unlawful against my wishes. Now, my solicitor believes that this has not been dated and signed or anything because they're going to probably turn around and say, we don't know who sent it, blah, blah, blah. We've, you know, they, they've not sent me any information. They've not sent me any school reports. They've not sent on any of my requests. Again, this is unlawful. It's gone against my rights as a parent. They know I'm a parent. They know I have parental responsibility. That's been brought to my attention again today. I've been threatened with court today to try and remove that parental responsibility. That's being dealt with. We're hoping now we get this case in court. Now, this has caused me a lot of alarm and distress. It may have caused me uh, lasting damage to my health, to my nervous system. I've uh, ex been extremely unwell. I'm still unwell now. I'm having breathing problems. I'm unable to lie down and sleep. I'm napping. I'm not allowed to sleep, I'm napping, so I'm having an hour, waking up, setting my alarm. This may well have caused me irretrievable damage. It's literally made me un physically unwell, unable to move. I've had four weeks of being unable to move. I've actually been living downstairs in my home, unable to go upstairs. That's how bad this has created me. The alarm and distress that this has caused on my health it's damaged my nerve, you know, it's damaged my nervous system. My nervous system has been damaged. Um, it's, I've been asked to go on to steroids and treatment to, to basically to keep me alive, to basically to keep me breathing. This has all been caused by the stress that these people have caused. Now, I've had no stress. I've been kept away from stress um, through the Christmas period and all the rest of it. Then all this started again from this school where my ex works or worked by her colleagues not giving me the proper access to my children. All I wanted and all I want is to know how my children are going on at this school. School reports, letters, incidents. Under my parental rights and the law, I have been given none of this over the last nearly two years. I don't know where they're living. I don't know what schools are attending. I've not, I wasn't told when one moved up to an, a higher school. I don't know if they've had any medical conditions. All this should have been lawfully given to me. Now, I'm going to cover that in depth over the next weekend. It may be, may be. Cover this in, in depth. It's going to depend on how things pan out before Monday. Now, um, this has caused me a lot of alarm and distress. I will be putting this into court. Ofsted are aware of this. They are aware of everything. I know they're either going in or gone in and doing their report. This has been kept away from the people that's doing that report. The report, when they go in, will not be biased. They've assured me that they're going to go in blinkered and not know anything about my case against the school. 
Um, if you have any problems against this score, I suggest that if it's, you know, it's factual, lawful and truthful, then you need to get in touch with this school and put in your complaints. I'm putting in a vote of no confidence against the headmistress because I believe this is discrimination against me. She's a work colleague and friend of my ex-wife on WhatsApp and all the rest of it. If nothing else, this has proven. This has proven that they are discriminating against me. This is what this is. They are not honouring my rights. They have had months, they have had years to investigate whether I've got parental responsibility. They could Google it. You've only got to Google it under the Child Children's Act and they would know that I have parental responsibility. This is a school that should lead by example. The head of the school is a safeguarding head and she should be aware of all these issues. If these issues arise, she should be questioning them. She should be looking into them. She should be talking to the parents. She should be investigating them before letters like this are sent. This letter has caused me damage. This letter has caused me alarm and distress. The image of one of my children has made me ill. They have made me ill. My solicitor is seeking legal advice now and looking further into this to see whether we can take criminal action against the school with the evidence that we've got. And if that is the case, we will be taking criminal action against them acting unlawfully by uploading an image. And again, <coughs> they've stated on here, they sent a form out to the parental responsibility person by their own admission. It's all, and they, they knew I had it again because they, they sent me the letter last year and honored my wishes. So they knew I had it, they went against my wishes. Now there's only one way or several ways that they could have gone against it. One is to get to me, to harass me yet again, which we believe it is, to cause me alarm and distress, which they have again, and made me ill beyond repair. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be unable to even move off my settee. That's how bad the damage is. That's how bad this is. I was supposed to attend it. It's Friday, I was supposed to have attended Kingsmill Hospital, my local hospital again this morning, for yet another blood test to see how my oxygen levels are, my liver, my kidneys, my organs and everything. I could not even attend the hospital. I could not even attend my hospital appointment. I was unable and unwell to attend a hospital appointment. I've been advised by my doctor who phones me constantly over the last four weeks if I'm unwell, to phone 999. That's the severity of the illness that I've had to go through, what these have caused me. I'll try over the next few days, over the weekend, to upload some more videos, and some more information that I've got to give to people, let people know what's going on. Under the Freedom of Information, I've been in touch with uh, my psychiatrist. I've had 65 council sessions with her. I'm trying to get the minutes from them sessions so we can see whether we can act on some of the things that we've said on the minutes with regards to the incidents connected to my history, my childhood, the traumas. Uh, I've been advised to do that by the social services. I'm working alongside the social services now. They have been uh, forthcoming finally with information that I'm requesting. There's a criminal investigation going on with regards to uh, another party, which I can't discuss. So for that, also the reason why I do not, another reason why I do not want my children's images placed on social media. This may put my children at risk. It may put my children at risk. The investigation is ongoing. It's a criminal investigation. I do not want my children on social media or any photographs of my children on social media that can be recognized. Recognized, it's a breach of a safeguarding issue. They will be made aware of that in a letter sent to them from my solicitor. I cannot discuss the case. It's an ongoing criminal case that does not involve me. God bless everybody and we will speak over the weekend.